going to find him. I'm going to find him. I'm going to track him down. I'm going to find him. And I'm going to kill him. Watch and see. Well, welcome back, folks. Before we uh, do anything here, I want to say a big thank you to Doak, D-O-A-K, 1948. I think that's what that says. I should put my glasses on, but I'm pretty sure it's D-O-A-K, 1948. I see his, uh, that's his YouTube username, I think. Uh, he wrote me a big, long letter and sent me a package back in, uh, well, it says here, March 20th, 2019. And I never got to thank him for that. I mean, I, I don't know... I just got a package in the mail one day, uh, well, three or four, and uh, I knew what all of them was except the one from Doak. Didn't know who it was. I didn't recognize his name, and I wasn't sure if I could put it in the movie or not, so I didn't include it in the movie, and uh, I opened the other ones, and then I forgot to say thank you, Doak. I'm sorry, man. Uh, I don't know how you got my address, by the way, but anyways, thanks for your package and everything. It's not forgotten and uh, well used and I appreciate it thank you uh, okay uh, today I thought we would uh, if you watched the last video you saw this Fender Stratocaster neck from 2000 it's an American Strat uh, Deluxe I'll hold it up there where maybe you can see it a little bit better does it say Deluxe on there no this is Fender Stratocaster anyway a beautiful neck man just absolutely gorgeous wood gorgeous neck everything about the neck is just superb check that out it's even got the thing there for the adjuster uh, if you watch the last video on this you'll remember the truss rod head is just almost stripped out now, I'm talking about where the wrench goes down in there I'm going to show you here real quick look how much play is in that head check that out man that's how much play is in the head I tried the next size up metric wrench it wouldn't fit it's too big and uh, I have one here that will fit. Uh, it goes actually it goes in there deeper, and you can see there's a lot less play there with that one. But it's still pretty bad. The problem is the neck has all kind of forward bow in it, and the owner tightened and tightened and tightened that truss rod was pretty tight, and it still had a lot of forward bow in it. And it's got forward bow in it now, and the truss rod's not even tight. And he rounded, or he, I don't know if he did it or someone else, someone rounded the head of the truss rod off big time. This has got the, what they call the Biflex uh, tr truss rod system in it. And what that is, is this is a little plug right here. This whole area here is a plug with a hole in the middle of it so you can stick the wrench in there. The way that works, of course, like any other, it's a one-way truss rod, but when you tighten it, it puts back bow, supposedly, into the neck. And when you loosen it, it gets loose and it starts to get tight again like a two-way rod but it's not a two-way rod what's happening is that wooden plug is glued in there and when you start loosening the truss rod the head screws up against that glued in plug and starts forcing forward bow into the neck and we don't need any more forward bow but that's the way the system works called biflex i did one for the same guy that owns this neck about a year ago and uh if i can remember to do it i'll put links to some of those videos I had to replace the head on that one, and this one may need it too. And I've got heads here, and I've got the plugs here. Finding them <laughs> will be the, the job in that deal. Anyways, we're going to put some back bow into this sucker today, or at least get it straight. And uh, hang around, I'm going to show you how, or how I do it. <laughs> Hold on. All right, well, welcome back, folks. Check it out, man. Sunburn City. There's no eczema here, though. I just went to the doctor today, in fact, had an appointment. And he was, he just flipped out. He said, what happened, man? It's completely gone. There's no sign of it. <laughs> he flipped him out because I cleared it up since I saw him last. All right, enough of the shit about eczema. I'm going to show you here now. I'm going to loosen this truss rod, make sure it's neutral. There it is. That's all the tire it was right there. It's just loose as all get out. And I put this on here. A piece of paper here and you can see I think you can see that I should have zoomed you in a little bit closer it's got relief all the way I mean from the first fret there down to the 20th 
Well, no, I guess that's the 18th. Big time neck relief. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Since the truss rod, I got a video on this. It's called Helping Your Truss Rod. This is basically what we're going to do here. I'm going to put a block, of course, leather, and then a block here, leather, and a block back here. And I'm going to take a 2x4 and lay on those blocks and then clamp the neck in the middle, the center here, squeeze it against the 2x4 and force back bow into it. That should make that uh, truss rod tighten uh, way easier because we're taking uh, you know, most of the stress away from it, nearly all of it away, and let uh, the clamp force you know, force the uh, back bow into it, then tighten the rod up, and hopefully, I'm going to have to leave it a few days. I may have to put heat on it. Uh, you know, if, if worse comes to worse, I can hang a heat lamp up here and just leave the thing on there for several days, if need be. Of course, I have to keep it from drying out. But uh, I can adjust the heat on the on the neck by moving the lamp closer or farther away. You know, set it down closer for more heat, farther away for less. Anyways, uh, I think I've got everything I need out here. Maybe I've got leather, all kinds of good stuff. So what I'm going to do here, see, is put a block of wood right here. Well, it'd probably be better if I turned that crossways. I'm thinking, like so. Yeah, because I can move it on up toward the nut that way. Put a block of wood back here. thusly if y'all haven't checked out my video on this you might want to watch it too because I'll probably forget to tell you a bunch of stuff it was showing you how to do this this video is not showing you how it's just showing you how I'm going to do it <laughs> put the 2 by 4 in the center of the board actually I gotta actually I want to move these over a little bit so I have room here if I need to have any Yes, sir. Doctor today. I was freaking flipped out, man. Now, all I'm going to do is put a, a clamp in the center of that. As near center as I can get it. The clamp won't hurt the, uh, the fretboard because it's got rubber on it back here, see? So we should be good to go there. I am going to move that clamp out a little bit, though. I can't see down there as I'm doing this. I just got to do it and then look at it. Yeah, that's good. That's all right. The clamp's got rubber on it, heavy rubber, so it's not going to hurt the neck any. And uh, make sure I'm in the center of both blocks and begin to apply some force. I can already see back bow in it. But there's no way I can measure it, I don't think. Let me zoom you in. You can't see what there's shit. Sorry about that. Sometimes I, I forget, man. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to be able to actually measure that. But it's got back bow in it. I can see it. Now what I'm going to do now is tighten that truss rod. While it's under that stress, we'll be able to get it a lot tighter than we could get it without the stress. And There's some fuzz. It's already getting t pretty tight. I remember that head is in bad shape. I'm able to get in there a little bit deeper this way. I wish I could read that, man. I need a shorter. Well, it's definitely got back bow in it. I can see it in there. And the key here, too, is don't go too much at one time. You know what I mean? I might be able to go a tiny bit more with this tonight, but not very much. You don't want to go too much too soon, you know. Get the back bow in it, get the truss rod tight, and leave that for a few days, and then come back, check it, and do it again. Take the stuff off, and measure it, see if the truss rod's even holding it. If I had a straight edge that would go between the blocks, in fact, I might just cut some off of this and make it work. But it's definitely, definitely got back bow in it right now.
Yeah. But I can't, uh, can't really read it. I've got other straight ed edges over here, but they're too long, too big. That's the shortest one I think I have right there. But it's under a great deal of stress right now. Hold on, I'll get you to show it to you. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it in the camera. But it's got backbow in it right now. You might be able to see it a little bit there. I can't get it to show up in the camera very good. I can see it standing here looking at that. But see, all I did is put the block there on a piece of leather, block up here on a piece of leather, 2x4, and that clamp is forcing back bow into that neck. And tightening the truss rod as it's being forced into it, just like we did there. I'm going to leave that for at least two or three days, and then come back here and take all that stuff off, check it, and then do it again if we need to, to get more uh, back bow in it. See, if I need to, I can prop this thing up like so and hang a heat lamp, like I say, up here, let it come down over it, adjust the heat by the height, however close the light is to the neck for more heat, closer, less heat, further away. And, uh, you know, a lot of times you have to do that. And that helps soften the glue up and, uh, you know, where the fretboard's glued on and uh, maybe if the frets are glued, it just softens the glue up enough to help you get gain that little bit more of a back bow in the thing. I'm doing it this way because I'm holding the neck with the fretboard pointing down at the floor so back bow would be in this direction. And uh, like I say, I'll wait a couple or three days, come back here, take all this off, check it with the straight edge again. And in the meantime, I want to try to find a straight edge I think that will fit between these two blocks. I mean, I'm bearing down some pressure on there now. I don't know. Maybe you can see it here. Yeah, I think maybe in the camera you can see it's got back bow in it. It never had before. Yeah, if I'm seeing that camera right, I can see it, man. Hopefully you can see it too. If you look at the, the edge of the wood here, the edge of the wood right there, straight compared to the edge of the, the fretboard there. I think you can see the back bow in that neck. It's not a whole lot, but it's it's a whole lot compared to what it's had, what it had. But like I say, you gotta go a little bit of time with this. You don't want to put too much on there too soon and snap the thing. And uh, two or three days I'll come back, take it off, check with the straight edge again, and then decide then if we're gonna have to use heat or uh, not, <laughs> but uh, definitely going to have to put it wait two or three days and go some more with it, I think, because under string stress, you know, say if the, if the truss rod's holding it right now or holds it when I take all this stuff off, if it holds a back bow in there, that's going to be perfect, because under string stress, it's going to pull uh, neck relief forward bow back into the neck, and the ideal thing, what I'd like to achieve with this, when I send this neck back to the owner, I like to have back bow in the neck, okay? even under string stress. That way, when he puts it on, strings it up, tunes it up, maybe you'll still have a little bit of uh, back bow, maybe it'll, it'll uh, stress will make it straight, but it, uh, the, the idea is to have either one of those so he can loosen the truss rod under string stress and achieve the uh, neck relief desired. Are you with me on all that? Wow, that was a mouthful. I hope you got it all, man. <laughs> But there it is. We'll leave it uh, at least two days, 48 hours, and come back and check on it again. Truss rod's tight. We'll check it one more time. Yeah, man, I'm scared of ripping that out, wallowing. Waller. Is that a word? Waller? Wallering it out. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, folks. Uh, I'm probably going to make another video right now. I got a, a, a guitar in the mail today. Don't know who it's from. I don't recognize the guy's name. No clue, man. It just came out of nowhere today. 
and uh, I'm going to do an unboxing video so if you see me wearing these same clothes it's not like I wear them all the time I make it sometimes I make four videos in one day sometimes usually not but it, it happens <laughs> and many times I make a couple of them in a day anyways I'm rambling cheers thanks for watching uh, wish me luck on this and uh, wow I'm sunburned big time looks like uh, I, the camera is maybe picking it up cheers to you guys I love you guys and I'll see you on another unboxing video we'll make it right now Thanks for watching.